Nothing to see here, folks. Move along. Mm. The IRS reportedly canning the entire investigative team has been working on the three-year-long Hunter Biden tax probe. Right in the middle of a probe on Hunter's allegedly shady finances, the whistleblower who blew the lid on all of it, he is now alleging, or she, or they, uh, retaliation, according to the New York Post. They're reporting the Justice Department is responsible for the purge. Well, that's weird. Lawyers representing the whistleblower are fuming saying in a statement, quote, removing the experienced investigators who have worked this case for years and are now the subject matter experts is exactly the sort of issue our client intended to blow the whistle on to begin with. So is Hunter getting out the easy way? Our party panel is back, Stephen L. Miller, Marie Harf, and Spike Cohen. Stephen, this is very strange, and it seems like they are, in fact, retaliating against the whistleblower. So what gives? Uh, I think there needs to be more urgency from the Republican Party on this. They're not really speaking to it. I think Merrick Garland and his boss both know that they don't have to address this with the media. Joe Biden still has not been asked a single question about why he lied to the country on a debate stage concerning a laptop. And that's largely what this is. Merrick Garland and his DOJ, they can kind of run roughshod over investigations like this into the president's son, and they know that they're not going to answer any hard questions on any of it from any journalists anywhere for the most part. So when they go in front of Congress, if Merrick Garland is, you know, has to speak in front of Congress, it looks like a partisan sniping from Republicans mm -hmm. and whatever. Um, I think we need to hear from this whistleblower. I'd like to see protections offered, and then I'd like to see him, uh, them under oath in a public setting. Yeah. I mean, I don't care if it's Edward Snowden or Chelsea Manning or Julian Assange <clears throat> or the two whistleblowers here, one from the IRS and one who's claiming that the FBI has an unclassified document that shows that uh, then Vice President Biden was involved in a bribery scheme. And the FBI won't Shocking. give that up to Congress either. So the FBI, which is overseen by the DOJ, they're stonewalling. The DOJ shut down the IRS investigation. It looks like someone's getting some special protection, Marie. <laughs> well, first of all, there's no proof of these allegations yet, and I think Congress will investigate. But second, the person in charge at the DOJ of the Hunter Biden investigation Hunter is Biden's a U.S. attorney that proof. was appointed during the dur during the Trump administration. Let me finish. During the Trump administration, three attorneys general, again, including during the Trump administration, have been uh, investigating Hunter Biden. So far, nothing has come from it. That's hardly a Democratic-leaning group of people. And again, there is a U.S. attorney that is independently investigating this issue that was appointed by Donald Trump's administration. I wouldn't say so nothing the idea that Hunter it. Biden is somehow getting special treatment or wasn't really investigated when Donald Trump was president just isn't true. We'll see where the facts lead. But again, Hunter Biden has no government role. He doesn't work in government, unlike mm. the previous administration and, yeah. and the children of the president then. Mm -hmm. And if the investigation leads to criminal charges or some kind of indictment, I am sure that will come well, from, again, this really, person that Donald really Trump hard. appointed. This is not okay, a Joe Biden it's, appointment okay, that's two investigating things, two things, his son. Woo, two things. One, it's really hard to have an indictment when an entire investigation <laughs> gets shut down before its conclusion. That's number one. Number two, the well, I don't Hunter think it has Biden been. wasn't a political <laughs> operative, so he doesn't really have any part in anything, and he's completely harmless. If that were the case, then why does our now Secretary of State work tirelessly with former CIA and national security operatives to sign a phony baloney letter saying that Hunter's laptop was Russian disinformation? Why are all those former and present government officials working on behalf of a political campaign if he is a meaningless sub-actor in this grand drama? You can go ahead and answer that, Spike. Well, because it's always been that. I mean, I wish I could say that this was the beginning of the IRS being used as a political hit tool, but the reality is from its very founding and under the first president that had the ability to use its power, Woodrow Wilson, he used it against his political opponents. We saw the same happen with Roosevelt. We saw the same happen with Nixon and then later, uh, at the very least, with George W. Bush and with Obama, who went after the um, after the uh, the Tea Party. Uh, we saw uh, Clinton used it against uh, people who were alleging that he raped them. Um, mm -hmm. 
so th there is a very long history of rules for the overly enforced rules for the but not for the actual political power uh, people in power who wield this. Um, this is what um, federal policies are used to do. They're used to uh, attack political opponents while protecting those in power. Now I have I think a, a pretty common sense compromise here because now that there's more scrutiny on this there is an increased risk of this uh, investigation restarting and Hunter Biden being indicted and certainly the Biden White House doesn't want that. So here's my compromise. Let's just eliminate the IRS and all of its investigative powers and that way Hunter Biden is at <laughs> no risk of yes. ever being investigated on this ever again and as a, a nice side effect the hard working American people will no longer be extorted for trying to earn a living. I think that's a bang-up idea. Me and Wesley Snipes uh, <laughs> offer our affirmations.